Hi, welcome to another unit tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this Allegro ACS712 current sensor to measure the current and display the current on the LCD1602 or on this 2004 with four line uh, display module. Both of these are using LC, uh, the I2C module here, which needs only four, four wires. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Uh, because this module and this module, you are using exactly the same I2C and an internal connectivity and chip. So uh, for the demonstration, I'm using this small one, but it's absolutely exactly the same and the library that I provided when you download it it will perfectly work you, you don't need even to modify the code because I'm using only two lines of first line of this device and I have separate video explaining this if you need to understand how to use this the large one A separate video explaining this fully in detail uh, how this works for that reason I'm not gonna explain all this I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you how you can connect it to measure the current here in order to avoid any error I would suggest that you will try that video for this one which I will provide the link under the description follow that link make sure that this works and displays the current on the serial monitor on your computer after that when that works then download and try the code and library for this LCD1602 with this module and make sure that this displays some text without this module separately alone and once that works then, then come back and use the code that I've provided and connect these together so it will work without any problem. This is an Allegro ACS712 chip that measures the current. They have different version which is for 5 ampere, 20 ampere or 30 ampere and they all uh, look alike there is no difference and this is sold on ebay as this chip i have separate video fully explaining this but for your information quickly i've just put this uh, these two with a, with a thick wire so the current can pass through this and then we have three wires that you connect it to arduino to read it so one is a power supply so it needs its own power five volts so we have vcc and ground which needs for this IC to operate. So this device, uh, when a current passes through, proportionally, uh, around the, uh, depending on the type, around 66 millivolts per ampere, this will generate at this point. So as the current increases, the voltage will increase, and then using Arduino, we will display the current here, and also display it on the serial monitor, so we can read the current. Here is explanation how you measure the current. Let's say this is a battery or power source and this is the load. Uh, so the, for example, in DC, this is a positive, it's connected to the load and from this side it comes to the negative and the circuit is completed. Uh, to measure the current, you can put the ammeter either on that side or on this side, just cut one of the wire and then put it. So the current passes through the load and then goes through the ammeter ampere meter will measure it. So this is called putting ammeter in series. And then we put this module in series and instead of ammeter, this is our meter. So the current goes here and enters. We can put this on the top the same way. So this is how you can put this in series with the load to measure the current. Let me explain the wiring. This is my power supply that is supplying the power and this two are going to the load. So if I want to connect it directly to the load, it will be connected like that. And it goes as i shown you on the diagram. But I've just cut this here and the current goes to this device and coming out. That's a portion that this is sensing the current. After that, for this device, this side is the VCC, which is connected here to five volts on Arduino. On the right side, that's the ground. Ground is also connected here to the ground of Arduino and the middle one is the the orange is the out pin of this device which goes to analog zero here. 
for this device for the uh, LCD we have VCC which is this red one goes to 5 volt here and then we have this gray the ground ground is connected also to the ground and then the two other wires uh, the data and clock the SDA the green one is connected to A4 here and SCL or clock the blue one is connected to A5 and if your Arduino has SDA or SCL you can directly connect it to these two pins I just put it for your demonstration you're using Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4 and Arduino Mega SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and Now let me explain the code. I'm not going to explain every line because I've explained it separately in the other video. Uh, we are reading the sensor voltage, the current sensor at analog zero. We are defining it here. If you're changing it, if you need to use other pen, just define it here. This is supply voltage. And the model that you have is either five ampere, uh, 20 ampere or 30 ampere. Select the model that you have is if your model has 05B in it, just type 0 here. If it's 1, type 1, or if it's 30 ampere, type 2. And then below this line, you do not make any changes unless it's for the display. So this is a cutoff limit. If you're not in interested below certain limit, put that so you, you don't um, see it. For example, if I put this at 1, anything below 1 ampere will not be displayed and you do not touch this this is a specification from data sheet this section is for the lcd code inside the setup this section is just displaying the text on the screen and this section is for the lcd lcd dot begin is required and then the backlight and these are just the text that displays on the screen Inside the loop, this is the same as before, nothing has changed. The only change that I have made is this section that I have added. It, this clears the screen from previous value. This sets the cursor at 0, 0, character 0, line 0. So this sets at character 0, 9, 0, character 0, line 0. And then we print that text here on the first line. And then this sets a character zero line one. It goes to character zero line one. This is that's line zero. This is line one. And then uh, we print the text current. It will show here current. And then uh, we print the actual current at uh, character fourteen. At the end, we type we print a this a so we can read it as ampere. If there is no current then this will display on the screen sets character zero line zero which is this one and says no current this is the exact text that you see there and then we wait 500 milliseconds and the loop continues displaying this value conclusion is that you cannot trust this uh, for the currents above 20 ampere and this is very poorly designed for 30 ampere chip they put the 30 ampere chip but they did not properly put uh, the right PCB with the right specification, larger path for the current, thicker uh, portion. This is exactly the same uh, 2 mil PCB layer that is not sufficient for measuring 30 ampere current. Thank you for watching. This was uh, the video showing you how to use this Allegro ACS712 current sensor to display the current on the screen. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. And if you have comment or question, post it in the description, comment section under the description below. I will try to answer or reply.